Good morning, friends. Sarah from The Charming to Trader here. We are in a very special place this weekend. We are in Lexington, Michigan, where my family owns a cottage for the last, like, 20 years. Jeez, I think it's been that long. Um, and we are up here for Memorial Day weekend. We are going to go on some hikes, do some shopping, um, have some delicious food, of course. We actually got in yesterday and had some breakfast this morning, and now we are actually going to head over to um, Port Austin, where there is a state park, Port Crescent State Park which looks really cool. They have some hiking trails right on the water. And then um, we're also gonna check out the petroglyphs, which is like an ancient, like historical site. So let's go. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. All right, so we are at the Petroglyph Park and I'm really excited because we have never been here before in all of the years that we have had a cottage up in Mexico. So this is the largest known collection of early Native American petroglyphs and I have never seen them before. Let's go. A lot of people think that these represent possibly different spirits or even animal tracks. However, it's also believed that they represent the different seasons. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. So the park attendant told us some really cool stories. So he said that these petroglyphs are between 300 to 1400 years old, although some archeologists think that they're up to like 2000 years old. And what happened was that over time, the Native Americans stopped visiting the sites. And so they kind of got overgrown with forests and shrubberies and such. And in the 1880s, there was a huge fire in this area of Michigan that actually burned over a million acres of land. And that was when they were uncovered. And so now they are preserved and owned by the DNR in Michigan and you can come here and visit them. All right, what did you think of the petroglyphs, babe? Cool. Yeah, they were pretty cool. Yeah. It was free, which was free. Yeah, it was free, which is great. And we are actually gonna go ahead and find some lunch. We're probably gonna head up to Port Austin, actually. And then we're going to the Port Crescent State Park after lunch. It's about a 40 minute drive north from the petroglyphs to Port Austin, where we found the most charming little restaurant for lunch, Bird Creek Farms. Got some frog legs. What does it taste like? It tastes exactly like chicken. Does it really taste just like chicken? Yeah. It's um, a little softer than a chicken, like texture-wise. Uh -huh. That is a very accurate description. It does taste just like chicken, like a little more tender. Yeah. Mm, good. We got done with lunch at Bird Creek Farms. What did you think, babe? It was really good. It was excellent. Yeah. Really unexpected, and I'm so glad that we found it on Yelp. I feel like it belongs up in wine country. Yeah, it's really nice. Ambiance was great. Yeah. Um, lots of beers. Lots of, yeah, drinks in general. Lots yeah. of drinks in general. Lots of drinks, lots of beers. And the menu food, was really yeah, good. Yeah, the food was excellent. Everything we had was good. Like, no complaints. We had quinoa salad, frog legs, steak frites. It smelled. It was delicious. Really good. Highly recommended. After lunch, we headed about 10 minutes west of Port Austin to Port Crescent State Park to visit the beach and take in some dune views. Hey, honey. <laughs> You're recording yourself? Okay. Thank you. 
I still can't believe that such a beautiful place was so close to our family cottage all these years. This state park is the perfect substitute if you're looking for that Northern Michigan Dunes vibe. We spent the evening relaxing back at our family cottage. We had a delicious dinner, a bonfire that might have gotten a little bit out of hand, and then we headed to the hot tub to take in the views. Good morning, friends. We had a delicious breakfast this morning. My dad made shakshuka, which is like so good with eggs. And um, we are actually heading out to go to some barn sales now, which is like the best kind of estate sale. So we're gonna go hit some of those up and then we're gonna go walk around. Let's go. One of the things I love about Lexington is that small town feel. It's got so many cute, quaint shops where you can find plenty of unique gifts and cottagey home decor. Alright babe, which boat do you want? This one? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> what a cool boat. We stopped for lunch at a long time local establishment, Wimpy's Place. The food is fast, good, and cheap. A delicious cheeseburger will run you about $1.99 and be sure to grab a chocolate milkshake before checking out some of their vintage decor. All right, so we got classic cheeseburgers, onion rings, and these are mac and cheese bites. Mm. How's your food, babe? <laughs> All right, try the mac and cheese bites. Basically like Kraft mac and cheese or something inside. But they're pretty good. <laughs> which is one of our favorite restaurants. So good. Super good, super cheap. We've actually been going into it for a really long time. It used to be called Bees before it's like under new ownership, but very good, so let's go. Cam's Cafe is located in a small town about the same size as Lexington, five miles west of the shoreline. Past the fields of crops and plenty of green wide open pastures, you'll find Croswell. Is that Mickey? Good, babe. Really good. <laughs> How was your breakfast, babe? It was delicious as always. It was delicious as always. What did you get? Uh, the hungry jack. The hungry which jack. Is eggs, bacon, sausage, ham, but I don't like ham. So he gets uh, extra bacon. Hash browns, biscuits, and gravy. So much food. <laughs> it's such a good deal. That place is so it's good. Like it's like seven bucks for all. Yeah. So now we're heading over to the stockyards to go to the flea market in Croswell, um, which they have every Monday um, from I think Memorial Day to Labor Day it is. So let's go see what we can find. Where are we going, Sophie? Are we gonna go see some animals maybe at the flea market? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
You are so cute, yes. <laughs> We got a bunch of cool vintage stuff and then we also got these gorgeous plants to plant later. Some beets, some strawberries, some romaine. Well, just perfect. What did you think of the flea market, babe? It was good. It was fine. I didn't find much. I found a lot we of stuff lot. to sell on Etsy and we found a lot of herbs and early we found a lot of vegetable plants like yeah. beets and such. So I think it's pretty good. So a lot of people there. And so we found a horse. <laughs> So I think that's gonna do it for this vlog. You're gonna go head back, pack up the car, and head home. Happy yeah. Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day.